Oh yeah, okay, here's another pretty good candle formation. In inverted commas, when you can find them, that is. Alright, these are quite rare. Okay, they happen at bottom of the trends. Alright, and you need a confirmation from these as well. This is called the bullish piercing line. Okay, let's go ahead and show you what they look like. Alright, the, the trend direction that you'll be in will be a downwards trend to start off with. Okay, then you'll have another candle that will look similar to that, and then it'll have a, a wick on it as well. Now, the next candle needs to be a bull candle, but it also needs to make a new lower low. There's your lows there. Alright, but it also, this here's one right here. You see that this bull candle right here failed to actually close higher than the higher of the previous candle. Okay, now you're going to need a confirmation of a second candle. And it needs to close off higher than the high of its previous candle there. Uh, that's where it closes off. If it closes off there and it's higher, then the next candle you can go long on. Okay. If it doesn't, if the next, if this candle here doesn't actually complete by breaking that high, then what's going to happen is that the market's going to reverse. All right. Let's take you over to the train station and see if we can find any examples there are some examples that are, look pretty close to a piercing line and you know with the forex you have to be somewhat more forgiving and you know make some kind of allowances with them like let's see if that one looks like one zoomed in too much I'm trying to find my horizontal line I'm oh, sorry my vertical line that I just drew okay here we are okay now this one is similar okay now why I don't, I'm not really sure why the, 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 the candles not actually picked out that, at the moment but anyways um, the rules on this particular thing, as I say, is still in beta mode. We've still got some bugs and whatnot in this particular indicator, but I figured it was going to help me out to illustrate some patterns for you, but it's not um, doing as, as best as I hoped. But anyways, um, I mean, this candle pattern formation right here that I'm looking at, okay, I'm looking at all of these consecutive lows, which actually fits our criteria, okay, and we're in a downwards trend as well. The only thing that doesn't fit our criteria is this particular candle here. Okay. And the, where it's not fitting our criteria is the low is not lower than the previous low here. And it has indeed pierced more than 50% of that candle, but it's also created a new high. That in itself is still good enough to go for. Okay go long on the next bar because that's confirmation in itself that it's going to go up it does go up but it doesn't go up you know for you know, as, for as, as much as we'd like but it goes up considerable distance anyway and you know when you're using Bollinger Bands with um, candlestick formations I mean it's always good to target this middle band as your first TP anyway but we'll get into that when we get into live trades um, and what have you we'll show you my thought processes and stuff like that all right, but yeah, so this will still work out okay. It's not a piercing pattern, okay, but it's good enough to act as one. Um, that's kind of a contradiction of terms there, but that, that should be okay. And they don't really show up all the time. And here's one that's pretty close. It closed higher than the previous close. If this actually closed lower than the previous close, 
then that would actually work out as a Pearson line. Here's another one that looks similar, okay, but this body here didn't actually pierce 50% of that, so that's no good. Here is uh, another one that looks kind of the same as well, but this is actually a hammer. So yeah, you, I mean you have to take them with um, you know with a pinch of salt. Ah, oh, yeah, well, that's it. Here's another one that was pretty close as well, but it did actually pierce fifty percent. So like you can see this one here. Here is um, the first low. Here's the next low, and there's another low here. This actual pattern right there, where you've got two up bars, is actually a continuation pattern. But we've also got these lows and these lows here. And then the next candle, this one should have actually come down lower. That's where it should have come down to. But the the body did actually close in the right position. I mean, it's actually more than 50%. So that would have worked out okay, but then we would have used this candle as our confirmation. And if it closes up higher than the previous close, there's this first close right there, and there's this next close. So that would have been okay to go long on. All right? It happens right on that middle bar more or less so you can go ahead and target the top bar of the uh, Bollinger Band. Um, okay. Okay, well here, here's one and I'm not sure why this didn't get marked off. Okay, here is a Pearson line. So this is why we have to probably work on this a little bit more. Okay, so we've got a low here, a low here, and a low here, and also we've got a low here. Maybe this, okay, so what's supposed to happen as well, you see how, like, where the open is, this open is supposed to be like, a little bit further down. It's supposed to have gapped down a little bit. I think this is why the indicator hasn't accounted for that gap. So that's, that's kind of okay. But this one is visually okay. Alright, this is actually a piercing pattern. It pierces more than 50%. And its low is actually lower. I'm mean, sorry, its high is actually lower than that high, which is what you're looking for. Okay. Um, but the close of it does actually pierce more than 50% of its previous bar. And then you can go along on this bar here after the confirmation and then target the first Bollinger Band and then maybe target the next one. Alright. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's the best I can do with showing you the bullish piercing line patterns. They do happen at bottom of the trend, so remember that. Okay, and ensure that you're in a downtrend, okay, when these patterns occur, um, and that you're not in, the, in an uptrend. Okay, you don't want to have one where you've like come down here and then it started to go up and it started to come down a little bit and started showing some there that's not going to help all right because you might see it actually continue coming down because it's in a pretty strong downtrend so you got to be um, you know play cautious with them and try and remember them as best as you can i mean the, the main what should really happen here is see like this gap Alright, there's like a, a gap here. The, the, when the patterns are normally drawn on a forex chart, you normally have another one that's just side by side. You know, kind of like that, but there was a gap in there. And right, that's the ones that we're, we're really looking for in the forex charts, but they are very, very hard to find. So we have to sort of counter for a little bit of leniency and look for ones like this one here is actually this one here okay and then the next bar came in and it actually closed higher than this high which was okay and then we could go long from that point forwards alright so I hope that's made sense and I will see you very soon in the next video bye for now